Welcome back. So we had this week of extreme winter weather. Um, in Holland, it's not that common. So I wasn't prepared. For, so just maybe three times I went outside like for 20 minutes max and my fingers hurt so much from the cold and um, well I will show you definitely done with the snow I'm just hoping it will go all the way tomorrow <sighs> It's not easy going with your wheelchair through the snow, especially if you do not have any special equipment like off-road tires. Um, I also do... I don't have like thermal clothing because I never needed it and now there's snow and I was like I'm not gonna order it online because by the time it gets here the snow is probably gone. So we're in the lockdown and there's a lot of snow, that means as a wheelchair user I'm not going anywhere. So I've been mostly working just from home and filling my days on the internet I guess. What do I miss the most? I miss going out to eat, but most of all I miss just visiting my grandparents and family because everybody's, you know, being very cautious with Corona. So I had no idea about wheelchair cushions. I had no idea when you had to replace them, no one ever told me. And um, in December I went to for a checkup at my at the rehab center and then um, one of the therapists asked me like how are you sitting? I'm like I guess fine and then she said okay can you show me your cushion and I showed her and she was like oh, you cannot sit on this anymore so I had to order a new one directly. Um, but it <laughs> the cushion is made in America, so I had to wait for weeks. I think two months, yeah, I had to wait. So then finally they, uh, the new cushion arrived and um, I was sitting way better. So it's really important. I don't know if you're a wheelchair user and if you use it, but it's definitely something I didn't know. And I will really pay more attention to it. So... My new cushion has arrived. It was necessary. Taking out the old one and putting on the new one. So, I think once or twice a day I transfer to the sofa, to the couch, to be a couch potato. So, I transfer like this and then sometimes I just sit for an hour or so and then or at night to watch some TV or my um, So, if the doorbell rings and I'm like chilling here, I kind of have a problem because I probably won't be fast enough. Most of the time, by the time I make it to the door, 
they are long gone. So I push myself up and move sideways. So it's up and then push sideways. And basically go into the chair. I love being outside, just you know, having the sun on your face. Um, probably have a lack of vitamin D in the winter. So it's Valentine's Day today and I had these very cool balloons. They arrived yesterday. My friend came over and, and the doorbell rang and I opened the door and there was like this giant box. I was like, okay. Opening the box, the balloons popped out and there was a card on it. So I first thought it was from my boyfriend and then I wrote, just read it and it was from my best friend who was sitting there with me. So it was a fun surprise. And after my boyfriend came home and he was just a little jealous, like, who are the balloons of, you know? But um, yeah, it's a very sweet surprise. And then this morning, he gave me this little dog. And I have these very warm, these for my feet. They're actually 100% wool to stay warm in the winter, especially with this extreme cold. Okay, but it's dinner time. What are we having for dinner? Um, we're having a really Dutch kaas croquettes. No! <laughs> Which way are you I will not eat those. Okay, my plan was to make sushi, but without fish. So I have the nori roll, quinoa, bell pepper, cucumber, and avocado, and then just roll. Thank you for watching, and I'm wishing you the very best, and let's hope that the future looks bright.